As Polo ponies go, the Polo Pureza was a legendary mare, so much so that the Argentine breeders cloned her to preserve her bloodline. Now these clones are being gene edited to develop more muscle fiber and presumably become even more unbeatable on the polo ground. Now our story is about the technology behind all of this, but the one thing that does strike you is these horses are being put through all of that just to become better at a game that we use them for. Seems a bit arrogant of us. What do you think? Polo, often called the sport of kings, is deeply rooted in royalty, nobility and high society. If you've never seen a polo match, think of it as hockey on horseback. Two teams, long mallets and a ball that needs to be swept through goalposts. But polo is no ordinary game and it's also an expensive pursuit with as many as a dozen horses and riders participating in a single match. No country breeds polo ponies quite like Argentina. Its horses dominate elite competitions like the Queen's Cup in England and the prestigious Argentine Open. In Argentina, horses are bred, trained and celebrated like royalty. And at the heart of that legacy is a legendary mare, Polo Pureza, which means Polo Purity in Spanish. And now, Polo Pureza's legacy is being taken to an entirely new level. At a glance, these folds grazing quietly in a pasture outside Buenos Aires seem completely ordinary. But they are anything but. These folds are in fact clones of the legendary Polo Pureza, but with one crucial difference. Scientists at Argentine startup Geron Biotech have used gene editing technology to alter these horses' DNA, creating the world's first genetically edited horses designed for enhanced athletic performance. Que nosotros podemos identificar secuencias en un animal. We can identify sequences in an animal a genetic sequence of interest that codes for a characteristic of interest and incorporate it into another individual in a single generation in an accurate and non-random manner. Let's say that this happens in a conventional cross between a male and a female. Then, from this, we can provide innovative solutions that are practical and more useful for breeders to obtain elite sport horses y que sean más útiles para los criadores para obtener caballos de élite deportiva. Gene editing is a biotech step that goes beyond cloning. While cloning produces identical copies, gene editing can customize the DNA and design new traits. Scientists at Heron use the well-known gene editing tool called CRISPR, which is often described as genetic scissors. CRISPR let them cut and tweak DNA with precision. They targeted a gene called myostatin which normally limits muscle growth. By turning that gene down, the scientists are aiming to produce a horse with more muscle fiber, potentially turning these genetically edited horses into the next generation of polo ponies that are far more capable than regular horses. La, la polo pureza tenía una conformación muscular que es como de un caballo fondista. The polo pureza had a muscular build similar to that of a long distance horse. These horses run long distances, tire less easily, but lack explosive power over short distances. What we did was insert a sequence into the myostatin gene, which regulates muscle mass. This gives it a higher proportion of type 2 fibers, which are the ones that contract quickly. So what we did was transform this animal into a sprinter with greater speed off the mark over short distances. Sprinter, lo que se dice, que tenga mayor velocidad de salida en, en distancias cortas. Unsurprisingly, not everyone in the polo world is ready to welcome these genetically edited horses. The Argentine Polo Association has banned these horses from competition. The country's national breeder's body says it will monitor the foals for four to five years before taking a call if they can be registered and compete. Now, critics argue that gene editing for a competitive advantage crosses a line. It goes beyond preserving bloodlines and into designing animals. Many breeders fear it could disrupt the traditional business of horse breeding. Yo creo que jugar con esos caballos, eh, sí, sería una, una desventaja super abismal con, contra los demás. 
I think that playing with gene edited horses would be a huge disadvantage against the others because you think you're getting for example the best mouth of one horse with the best power of another horse with the best action of another horse you're putting it all together and modifying it into one it's a total disadvantage for those who can't achieve that o sea es una desventaja total para para el que no puede llegar a eso For now these foals live under watchful eyes in Buenos Aires But the big question continues to linger. Are these foals the future of polo or do they represent a scientific overstep? What's undeniable is that technology has galloped straight into the arena of tradition, spanning new questions about sport, ethics, and just how far we're willing to go to get the winning edge. <laughs>